but the surge has never been stronger. And we have to build the wall or we have to build the barrier. Uh, the barrier or the wall can be of steel instead of concrete. If that helps people, it may be better. I intend to call the head of United States Steel and a couple of other of our great steel companies to have them come up with a plate or a design of a beautiful steel product, which we now make here, and we'll use that as our barrier. So we're trying to do everything possible to get money to our incredible people. But many of those incredible people agree with me, and they say, make sure you win this battle. This is a very important battle to win from the standpoint of safety, number one, defining our country and who we are, also from the standpoint of uh, dollars. This wall will pay for itself many times during the course of a year. The money we're talking about is very small compared to the return. I can relate, and I'm sure that the people that are on the receiving end will uh, make adjustment. They always do. And uh, they will make adjustment. People understand exactly what's going on. But many of those people that won't be receiving a paycheck, many of those people agree 100 percent with what I'm doing. I may declare a national emergency dependent on what's going to happen over the next few days. We have a meeting, Vice President Pence and a group will be going to a certain location that you know where that is, and they'll be having another meeting. I don't expect to have anything happen at that meeting, but I think we'll have, nor does the Vice President, but I think we're going to have some very serious talks come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have to have border security. If we don't have border security, we're going to be crime-ridden, and it's going to get worse and worse. Going, going, to, going to Camp David. Thank you.